Good morning, Christina and Nicole. This morning we are talking everything Apple. We're here at Gold's Orchards in Castleton. We're inside the kitchen. I wish you could smell what we're smelling right now. We are cooking up some cider donuts. Joining me now is Sue Gold, the owner of the farm here. So Sue, tell us what's going on. Let's first talk about the batch. Everything is made from scratch, right? Yeah, we're making donuts this morning and we start with uh, donut flour and we add warm cider, fresh cider to the batch. We Keep it covered to make it nice and warm and make it happy. Um, it's loaded into the hopper. The hopper has an automatic mechanism and it drops donuts into the fry bath two at a time, two by two. They travel along the fry bath for a number of seconds. They go to the flipper and then they're flipped and baked on the other side. And then they come, they come out of the conveyor and they drop onto the roto cooler. Now I gotta ask you, there's plenty of cider donuts in there from when we, you guys started this machine. I mean, on a busy day, how many donuts can you guys make? On a really, well, we can make this one machine alone, um, I mean, can make a lot of donuts, but we make as many as, we make as many as 40 batches of donuts in a day easily. Um, and we start early and we make them fresh. And so let's go over here. I know that once the donuts settle down here and cool off a bit, what do you do after that? Well, you, you know, like all good cooks, you want to season your uh, donuts while they're hot. So you put nice cinnamon and sugar on them and you then place them onto the, uh, your bakery sheet tray and you let them cool off. And then as soon as they're cool enough, you pop them into a bag. All right, we're going to let these cider donuts cool off and coming up in the next half hour, we're going to eat these donuts live on air. For now, reporting live in Castleton, Jennifer Lee for News 10 ABC. If she